Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take a look at Bitcoin on the lower time frame. Over the past couple of months we've really been focusing on the upside for Bitcoin and really not been focusing too much on the pullbacks but with what I'm seeing here for the wave structure and the liquidity levels that we're seeing in the market I think Bitcoin might be preparing for a bit of a fast move to the downside so with me not being able to make a video over the next week or so with being away I thought I'd put this video out because I do think we are preparing a move to the downside before an even bigger move to the upside so I, d I just wanted to put this out because I don't want people to get scared you know we've we've had these videos in the past where we've prepared for dumps then when everyone gets really bearish down at the lows it's the time to enter and again it's just market psychology 101 so I just wanted to go through a couple of my thoughts and reasonings to why I think Bitcoin is going to dump to the downside pretty soon but then pump to the upside in an even bigger wave so if you haven't already guys smash this video a like it really really helps the channel i appreciate the support comment down below if you like the video and of course subscribe let's get into it to add a little bit of context to what i'm seeing here we need to zoom out a little bit and really analyze where the impulse to the upside began and i do think that was a nice impulse to the upside with the fifth wave finishing there you can see within that fifth wave we've had a nice one two three fourth wave correction into five and i do think since then we've been correcting so if we can identify that as the top of an impulse wave right there then we can begin to analyze where is this correction headed and i think we've got a nice free wave move off of there a nice little flap there into another free wave move into this high which would imply that we're going to get a free free five and that really means that we're going to get a five wave move to the downside it's going to be really fast it's going to be really scary for the market participants oh, we're not ready for it so i just thought that's why i need to put out this video guys and we can get some targets to the downside just using the trend based fibonacci so if i do use the trend based fibonacci here we get a really nice key level from the high to the low back to the upside this would be an estimate 1.618 would be a really key level it's never going to be perfect so you want to identify that as a zone but if we just have a look to the left here this zone really comes into the higher time frame bullish candles here big bullish candle here that hasn't been filled a nice inefficiency in the market i do think btc is ready to head to the downside pretty soon it's just about when are we going to do it and i do think the start of April would be a really good time because by the by the time April comes around and the April is over, I do think we are going to be much, much higher. So in the lower time frame, guys, I do think BTC is heading to the downside, needing to be prepared for this dump to the downside, but then preparing for a much, much bigger move to the upside. And I'm going to be looking at around thirty six, forty thousand dollars $40,000 for this big wave to the upside because if we have a zoom out here, that would just be a really nice continuation of the trend to the upside. Higher time frames, really key here. Low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low to come in here with a nice big fed wave to the upside. That's what I'm seeing at the minute, guys, on the lower time frame. We just zoom out here to the monthly time frame and just extend that level that we marked out earlier to the left. Have a look at the confluence that we have here at these wicks. Really nice back test of the key level that we're looking at here. Really, if we do pull the Fibonacci's from the candle body to the candle body high, that would coincide with a nice 618 retest down at the lows. Everything to me here is telling me that we want to come down and get to that 25,300 zone. Obviously, on the monthly time frame, we could go even lower than that. Potential wick fish is below there, 24,475. So I would mark them two levels out, guys, on your charts. Um, and really just sit back and wait and let the market do the work because that's all we've been doing for the past couple of months. We've been entering down at the lows letting the market do the work, not getting scared about these dumps, and then we will not be getting scared about this dump to the downside, because if you can imagine, this monthly time frame is just beginning, that would be a nice wick to the downside, and then potentially heading into April for a nice big move back to the upside, and filling in these big bearish candles here, market inefficiencies lie to the upside, not really too many to the downside now all ineff inefficiencies really look covered to me here building a nice solid solid base here for btc to head to the higher time frame targets that we've had since down at 15,500 so just a quick video here guys on the lower time frame zooming out here as well on the higher time frames so you can see this would be a nice key monthly level retest that would be what the wick looks like on the monthly time frame nothing to be too scared about really still looking for those higher targets altcoins i think would offer an opportunity here if we had to get that move down obviously it's 28,000 right now it would go down to 25,000 a bit of panic a bit of fear to come back into the market it would be perfect wick retests here and that's all it would be so again from me guys really short video here on btc 
bit of Elliott Wave, bit of market psychology, and a bit of market sentiment thrown in with some liquidity levels there. So if you did like the video, give it a like. If you didn't, don't. No problem. But, but don't forget it's not financial advice. Sit back, relax, and let the market do the work. See you next time.